fine. That's good for now. How am I doing? Okay. Uh, Frisco, you are doing so well that I'm actually going to have to make the exercises more difficult next time. I shouldn't have asked. No, I thought about it last night, believe me. Do you hear that, Adam? Now, this is what you call a dedicated therapist, huh? Uh -huh. She goes home at night, thinks about her patient, mm -hmm. then she's up at sunrise, ready to give him his session in the morning. Maybe I should develop a problem about my Oh, throat. no, you don't. Uh, one hypochondriac is enough, I think. Tanya, <laughs> I am truly suffering, you know. So am I. It's my day off, you know. Today? Yeah. I didn't know that. You didn't have to come in just for me. I was only kidding. I was glad to do it. Your progress is coming along so well, I've actually enjoyed working with you. And these uh, daily sessions are important. Well, I really appreciate that, but I, I'm sorry if I blew your day off. No, I'm not. Besides, I have the rest of the day left, and I uh, tend to, uh, intend to take advantage of it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait. Um, what? We yeah. still have a very crucial part of our session to discuss here. Hmm, what is that? It's uh, like a matter of life and death, to me anyway. Now, what on earth could that be? Um... Our date. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you remember you brought that up the day before yesterday? Yeah, so I did. So are we going to make a date for our date, or what? Um, yeah, I assume. Well, wait a minute. How about now? Now? At this hour of the morning, you want to have a date? Uh, I want to set a time and a place. We'll think about it. <clears throat> Tanya, why don't you think about having lunch with me today? Hmm? You're going to have lunch today, right? Probably. Well, then why don't you have it with me? I'm planning on studying all day today. We'll plan it some other time. When? When it's convenient for both our schedules. No, that's too vague. I want a time, I want to know a place, preferably here and soon. We'll see. No, no, we'll see. We'll see each other tomorrow night, here, for dinner, in my room. How about it? Maybe. What, what is the problem? What is going to happen in a hospital room. Frisco, with you, anything. Look, I promise, I promise I'll be on good behavior all night, okay? How about it? All right. All right. Um, you may go now, Miss mm -hmm. Roscoe. Mm, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. oh, by the way, you have made my day. I hope yours is just as good. Reading and taking notes for my thesis? Hey. I offered to take you away from the books. You turned it down. No sympathy for me. Oh, the life of a scholar. It's a lonely one. Bye. <laughs> I had it. I knew. Take a lesson, man. <laughs> Morning, gentlemen. Hi, Dr. Jones. How are you in this, uh would-be rock and roll star doing this morning. Fine, uh, he's a perfect roommate. <laughs> <laughs> We're about ready to start those tests on you. We find out once and for all about this weakness on my right side. I hope so. The sooner the better. Well, don't worry, we're gonna make you all right. And as for you, I have a favor to ask, all right? Depends. Just be here in this room at two o'clock this afternoon. Why? We'll be here and find out. It's your last chance, you know. Sure this isn't gonna make you sick. I got a cast iron stomach. <laughs> That's what my last roommate said. Until he heard me do my exercises, that is. Then it was all he could do to keep from going to the bathroom all the time. He sounded just like me in there, too. You can take my snore. The least I can do is listen to you exercise. Ha. <laughs> Famous last words. Don't say I didn't warn you, man. Go on. <clears throat> Ah! Uh, two o'clock on the nose. Here we are. Where's the party? Oh, any minute now. <clears throat> Seems like everyone's on time this afternoon. You, me, and who else? Answer the phone. Find out. All right, I'm the doctor. Hello. Yeah. I'll take that. Hello, father. Oh, no, no, he's fine. Andy was just shocked to hear your voice, that's all. It's been a long time. Well, no, sir, I don't think he will. Not, not just now, anyway. Wait, well, it's my fault. Yeah, this probably wasn't the right time to get you two back in touch with each other again. So how's the medical convention? 
Well, I don't blame you. If I was in Miami, I'm afraid I would stay on the beach, too. No, he's... He's doing very well. What? Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that Andy will come back home soon. I know he's planning to uh, return to school and uh, train for some sort of profession. Yeah, I'll tell him. You too. Goodbye, Dad. Father said to tell Get you... Get the hell out of here. I didn't mean to upset you. You pull a stunt like that and you expect me to be overjoyed? Why do Man, you... Man, we are farther apart than I ever thought. Why do you think I set this up? I don't know and I don't care. Oh, Frisco. Get out of here. Out. Now! When I said get out, I meant to stay. Save the tough guy act for someone who's impressed. Well, it's no act. And I punched you once to prove it. When are you gonna forget about the past? I don't want to talk about it. Well, you've got to. Andy, it's way past time for a little forgiveness on your part. Four years is too long. Now, don't you think it's time that we got back together? No. Not after what you did. I'm asking you to forgive me. And I'm telling you that I can't. Can't or won't. Does it matter? It does to me. I mean, is what I did really so awful? Getting it on with our mother's nurse while mom lay unattended dying. It's a hell of a thing to live with, Anthony. At least it is for me.